Welcome back, everybody. So I've got a brand new product here today. These uh, retail extended series boxes have just hit the shelves. I think these just came out uh, yesterday or possibly the day before, but I know these are brand new this week. So I picked up one of these boxes from Walmart. They're only 20 bucks this year, which is a pretty good deal. They have come down a little bit since uh, Series 2 or Series 1, which I believe were $24.99 or $26.99. I can't remember, but they seem to be a little bit cheaper. An extended series this year just seems to be a whole lot better than it was last year. I loved extended series last year. Don't get me wrong. But everybody else was complaining about it nonstop. There wasn't the best crop of rookies besides like Bunting and Kaliev. There wasn't that many in there. Uh, so you're getting eight packs. Eight cards, so we'll get 64 cards here today. There is a new gold stockpile or gold elite stockpile or something parallel that you can get in this. I think it's on the retro cards only. They're a pretty, pretty tough pull. Like, I can't remember what exactly the odds are, but I'm probably not going to get one of those today. Uh, there's all sorts of cool stuff. I really think that these extended series mascot cards, the canvas mascot cards, are going to start becoming collectible. I know that like the gritty one sells for a lot and some of those ones are already kind of selling for a decent value. So we'll see what happens with that. But as I said, I'm really, really excited for this. I'm really enjoying this extended series. I did a hobby box last week. So I'll put the link in this video if you want to check out what I pulled out of that hobby box. It was pretty loaded. But let's see what we get out of the blasters. Um, I don't know, last... Usually these blaster boxes are just an absolute nightmare. Like Series 1 and Series 2 were uh, definitely not the best by any means. So we'll see what we get here today. Alright, first pack. So Brock McGinn, Sam Lafferty, Mark Piesk, Nick Dowd. We have a retro of Brad Marchand. I pulled that out of my hobby box actually, so that one's a double uh Savard, Kasha, and Hayden Fleury. Okay, James Reimer, Nathan Bastian, Logan O'Connor, and our young guns is Alex Steves. So that's probably gonna be our one and only young guns. It would be nice if we could beat the odds, but you're only guaranteed one in every four packs, so Dougie Hamilton. Joe Thornton, who has officially left the Florida Panthers. I'm assuming he's going to retire. Somewhere might give him a shot somewhere, but it's hard to say, right? Um, Brad Marchand and Ryan Murray. He might fit in as like a depth player on like the fourth line in Carolina or somewhere like that. But I feel like we might have seen the end there for Jumbo Joe. Uh, Connor McDavid. I really like the look of these all-star base cards. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if they did that every year, put in the all-star base we have Matt Roy, Yakov Trenin, Jaden Schwartz, and we have a Dazzler. We got Mark Stone on a green Dazzler. Love these Dazzlers. Again, I think this is going to be start to slowly become more and more collectible, those Dazzler sets. I really like them. They're just absolutely beautiful looking cards. Uh, Yanni Gord. So many Kraken cards in this. I think there's 22 Kraken cards in the base. And Nolan Patrick. So we have three packs left. We haven't hit a base pack yet, so I'm sure we're going to get at least one or two base packs out of here. Peter Morazic, who is now with... Uh, where's Peter Morazic playing now? I can't remember. I don't remember off the top of my head where Peter Morazic is, but... Uh, Alexander Carrier, Laurent Boissois, and we have a Nash. That's what I'm talking about. These are really nice looking cards. So there's a Nash canvas mascot right there. That's a nice looking one. We'll get him up on the back there. Tage Thompson, uh, Jujar Kyra, Andrew Cogliano, and Carter Rowney. All right, two packs left here. Hopefully we get another Young Guns, but we shall see. So Matthias Janmark looks like a holographics card possibly coming up here. I see some shiny foily. Nick Letty, Evgeny Svechnikov, and we have a Cole Sillinger. He's a great player too. So Cole Sillinger Holographics. That's his rookie card. I think all the Holographics this time and extended are rookies. I could be wrong, but the only ones that I've pulled are all rookies so far. So 
Lost pack. See if we got any lost pack mojo here, but I have a feeling this is going to be a base pack just because we haven't got one. Curtis McDermott, Duncan Keith, Cam Atkinson, Tyler Pitlick. Yep, base pack. Derek Broussard, Miko Rantanen, Colin Blackwell, and Alex Nedeljkovic. We'll pick out one pack and we'll be on with our spinach hunt. If you don't know, this set, Alan and Ginter, is just the weirdest set of all times. They make baseball cards, but they put just like the most random collection of inserts, sharks and birds and vegetables, just anything you can think of. So when I started my YouTube channel, I kind of started doing this spinach hunt thing, and it's still going. So if you're wondering what all this spinach hunt is about, I'm trying to pull the spinach card out of Alan and Ginter. They are one in a thousand packs. So it is not easy. I don't. I didn't know idea what I was getting myself into when I started this, but uh, this has been absolute madness that I've been doing this for so long, and I still haven't pulled the spinach card. But it will happen one day. There's Garrett Cole, Joe Mauer, Lamette, and three, two, one, spinach. Nope, we got Mike Mustakis. No spinach. Speaking of sharks, so we have a lemon shark. I probably have three or four of these full sets of shark cards by now. And uh, Jimenez. Andres Jimenez. So anyways, no spinach card today, but it is what it is. Thanks everybody for checking out the video. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the fold.